Hi, so today I'm going to talk about uh, parental controls. What are they? Why do they exist? And why shouldn't they exist? So, what really is parental control? Anyone who hasn't grown up with it, uh, I'm going to tell you what it, exactly it is. It, I'm talking about programs, applications, and so called features which allow parents to uh, restrict the use of a particular device uh, by their children. Uh, all that allows them to use that device, typically a phone, uh, to see where the child is or a combination of the two. Why do these programs have to exist in our current world then? Well, because we believe that children are incapable of regulating themselves. They can get lost at any time, they can find something that they, should we say, shouldn't see. What is that, by the way? I'm thinking that that doesn't exist, things that a child shouldn't see. So parents, in other words, think that their children need to be protected from outside influences. Now, why are these outside influences that they're talking about? Why are they dangerous? Well, because children have not learned to regulate themselves in this day and age. They are constantly being monitored by their parents, and their parents always make decisions about them, uh, which really leaves children uh, with an inability to regulate themselves, to feel when it's time to do something else, to feel when something becomes a little dangerous or a little uh, annoying or whatever. Children are naturally able of doing that because they are people, obviously. They are very similar to uh, adults, except that they don't have the experiences yet of, a lot of life, and they should be able to gain them. Probably sort of segued in it, but uh, that is part of the reason why parental control shouldn't exist. It does not uh, allow children to learn to regulate themselves. It does not allow them to learn to know exactly uh, where they are to learn to get back to their home because they know their parents will get them when something goes wrong. Now I have another problem with certain content restrictions which go beyond the realms of IT and computers and that is that they basically restrict children's curiosity. Children are curious about everything in the world and they ask all kinds of questions. I don't know how many because that ability has been uh, already repressed by our education system. So why should you then have to restrict that even further? Well, because we believe that there are some things that children shouldn't know, yet they are very interested in. That's why. That's the only reason. Because we believe that certain information is dangerous to children. Now, there are some objectively dangerous things, uh, but giving out information to people is the way to actually prevent people from doing certain irresponsible things. To allow people, including children, to learn to be responsible and self-reliant. So what should you, as a parent, do instead of parental control? Well, well the answer is equally simple. Parents should uh, talk to their children about what they have learned every day, about what they have come across that time. And especially when the child comes to them and tells them about something, take them seriously, talk about it in a neutral, perhaps even a positive way, rather than trying to think, oh no, that is definitely not great for him or her. And trying to restrict it and prevent that child from coming across it again. They are in a learning process that should not be interrupted. See you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.